Um, so what I want to go over with you today are some of the different Starlink mounting options, some of the different costs involved, some of the different pros, I think, some of the cons, and then what choice I'm actually choosing to do myself. Out of everything, I think you really have four choice options. You have the existing tripod, and there's some modifications I think you can do with that. There's the Volcano roof mount, which I did do an unboxing on. The Ridgeline roof mount, which I've been waiting for weeks through FedEx and their snafu that they've been doing to try and get that, and hopefully that comes here soon. And then eventually I think there's some extra custom options that you could really try and make this work out a lot better. The first option that I'm thinking is the included tripod. It's already included with the satellite dish. You've already paid the 500 bucks. I think there's some ways that you can make this work. It's really nice in the fact that it is super strong. It feels like this like kind of anodized type of aluminum inside there. Um, super easy to be able to move around. And then you have the nice quick, quick disconnect buttons down there at the bottom, which are super great as well too. Uh, where's it at here? Yeah. And then what else do we have? I think some of the holes could be used in a couple different ways. Um, whether or not you're like mounting down some camping stakes, um, if it's winds blowing that hard, I, man, I mean, especially after using the leaf blower on it and it not moving at all, it'll be interesting to try and see how it does. But I think that's again, another option or whether or not you want to try making some type of wood frame underneath there, or, I mean, I don't know if this necessarily would be the best way to do it, but I would assume you could be drilling down some lag bolts or something like that to mount through those holes as well in order to put it wherever you're wanting to try and get that done. It does have a little bit of an arch to it. So, I mean, it depends on where you're putting it on your house or wherever, but it seems like it could be pretty possible. The next two, um, I know include a carry bag, which I think is awesome of Starlink to actually include that with the package because I didn't even think about that trying to haul that dish. It is decent size. Um, and so being able to try and carry that up and safely be able to walk up a ladder and get onto a roof. Um, so it's really great that they thought of this and be able to include that. It's a nice high quality bag. Um, and I'm going to try and see if I can find other ways to use the bag afterwards. I almost wonder if with some like simple stitching, if I could end up turning it into like a basic grocery bag or something like that. The next biggest option is like the volcano roof mount. And this one includes, it's for $24. So it's definitely the cheaper of the options coming from Starlink. Um, the base is extremely strong. Still again, feels like that, like hard anodized aluminum. I don't think it's steel, but I gotta, I haven't put, tried putting a magnet to it. It's great, I think, for flatter type roofs. It does say that you have to be within 40 degrees of vertical, so definitely a lot more f like just flat of a roof. If your roof is pitched too high, definitely need to be trying to do one of the other options. Um, the one thing I don't like about this, though, is all the holes that you have to drill in the roof. They do include nice sealant and multiple different ways, but I do think that you need to put some type of like rubberized spray over everything that's on there. Maybe some stuff underneath, maybe some like asphalt type sealant or some like roof leaking type stuff just to be able to help really protect that and ensure that that doesn't happen because that dish is so big, there is going to be some wiggle and I would assume that there would be some strain happening on that. And if you get too much, I just, I, I worry that there might be something happen it wouldn't happen, I wouldn't think, right away. It would definitely take a lot of time, especially if you're in a windier area. So just something to be careful on. Next option, and this is the option that I'm actually going with for my house, is that Ridgeland roof mount. It's unfortunate that it does cost $100 in order to be able to do this, but it does seem like it's very highly made. I'm excited to be able to do an unboxing on this one. You will need some bricks, so hopefully you have some bricks laying around. Um, to be able to kind of slide in there and keep this in place. It was nice to be able to see though in the instruction manual that they do include a mat to go underneath it. And so that can kind of help to protect everything underneath, especially since you're going to be putting 40 pounds on each side of the mount. Um, I wonder what it's going to be made out of. I'm hoping that it's still made out of that same anodized aluminum and not plastic. I'm going to be super disappointed if it's plastic whenever it gets here. 
The other biggest piece that I do like about this a lot, no holes in the roof. I can move this and adjust this to where I need it to. Um, and especially if, okay, if I end up getting a better reception from somewhere different around my house or something's going on, this allows me to do that little bit of movement a little bit better. Um, I think that the different types of roof, because how the volcano mount was meant a lot more for asphalt type shake roofs, a lot more of the flatter type roofs. This I think can really hit a lot more different variety and especially the steeper pitched roofs. And so I have a wood shake roof and I really like the idea that I don't have to set and put holes in the roof and then I'm going to be able to have this kind of angle on there. Now I'm hoping that I'm able to get a nice like adjustable angle and it's not just a fixed angle. It looks like it's adjustable from some of the different points on here in particular to right here. It looks like there is a um, pivot point there. I'm hoping that's the case. If not, this is going to be not really useful because I mean, you have a lot of different angled roofs out there. As for custom, I think there's a lot of different things you can do. Um, one of the biggest things that I think that could be really beneficial is using an existing satellite mount on your house. So if you already have some type of satellite TV or satellite internet, maybe that mount is maybe is useful. And so you're just going to have to measure it. And in reality, you don't need any bolts or anything because it has the nice little side spring loaded quick disconnect push buttons is that you just have to measure down a little bit and follow kind of like using the tripod as a guide, drill a hole going across the pipe and be able to set that in there. And man, maybe it could end up working, especially if you already have it. And like myself, I don't like putting more holes in my roof than what's necessary. I don't want to cause any leak points. Don't want to have any type of damage like that happening from there though. I think you could easily mount a, like some type of pole on a boat or have some type of either like piece of plywood or marine grade plywood and have that on different spots that even if it were like bungee down whenever you were stopped or whatever was happening whenever it eventually gets to that point um the same thing with like a, an rv i could see a lot more over like the the tongue of the like right at the hitch point where it hooks up be able to have something coming off there sometimes people have extra storage pieces coming off the back of it You'd have to be really careful on the roof. And so that's going to be interesting to see how eventually they come up with that solution or whether or not they end up making a complete like three, four foot high tripod type mount, something that you might see for um, cameras or something like that, but a stronger, more industrial type version. And maybe that it's hanging some different weights, kind of stuff that you see normally if people are connecting up satellite TV and seeing how that kind of goes or whether or not they end up making a, a mount that actually is kind of like an enclosed dome to where you could just have a permanent mount on top of your RV and that it's sealed off better and maybe a little bit more compact in size. That'll be definitely interesting to be able to find out, but hopefully this helped you find some good information, see what you're thinking, see whichever one you're trying to make. If you have some other ideas, definitely help post them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Peace.